Today on The Real Lombardino's Cooking at Home, we are going to be making some ricotta gnocchi. Now we're still under quarantine and we're taking the COVID-19 virus very seriously. We urge you all to stay at home, but we're not taking ourselves very seriously. We're just cooking for our family and we're trying to have a little fun and learn as we go along the way. These are not professional videos by any means. And my wife, Michelle, has been doing a great job filming all of this on her iPhone. And we're gonna get to meet her today as she helps me roll out some fresh gnocchi. So putting the dough together for our ricotta gnocchi, I'm gonna start first with my pre-measured ingredients. I have two cups of ricotta here. I'm gonna throw those into a big bowl, scrape that out. A half a cup of grated Parmesan. I happen to have some Parmigiano Reggiano. You can use any Parmesan, Pecorino, any hard grating cheese that you have. One and a half tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil going there. And we're gonna add two eggs. We're gonna mix all these together and then fold some flour into it. So we get this all mixed up. So right now it's ricotta, parmesan, and eggs. Breaking up the eggs, mixing everything in. I'm gonna season that up with a little bit of salt. I'm gonna use about one and a half teaspoons of salt. Then I have one and a quarter cups of flour. We're gonna dust that into the bowl. And the final thing I'm gonna season with is a little freshly grated nutmeg. And of course, any nutmeg you have in your cupboard would work. So I just grate that in. It's about a third of a bulb of fresh nutmeg. Tap that off with my handy uh, microplane. And now I'm gonna fold all these ingredients together until it comes together into a dough. These are very tender, very light. Gnocchi are kind of a dumpling from Northern Italy, traditionally made with potatoes, mashed potatoes, but this uh, version is also called a nudi, G-N-U-D-I, which means basically the filling of a pasta without the pasta wrapper around it. So it's really a nude. So we're gonna let this come together into a ball. We don't wanna work it too much, just until everything's incorporated. And then we're gonna let it rest for about 20 minutes before we come to the counter here and roll them out. So I have it all together. I'm gonna dust my counter with a little bit of flour. Take my gnocchi dough, which is formed kind of into a ball here, and drape a kitchen towel over it and let it rest for about 20 minutes. This is my wife, Michelle. We're uh, two 50 year olds that are technologically challenged and we've been producing these videos. She's been the woman behind the camera all along. Um, so I wanted to introduce her to you and now we're gonna try to, our hand at rolling out some gnocchi together. And I hope our marriage survives. <laughs> I really do too. <laughs> For about 20 minutes, it's really tender. I would say it's even more tender than a baby's butt. So we're gonna rub a little flour on our hands, get in there and grab some. Dust a little over the counter. We don't want too much. This is really a finicky dough. So you cut off a little bit of the dough. And this is a nice tool called a bench knife or a bench scraper. And we take a little bit of it. What do you use if you don't have a bench scraper here? You use a knife, a kitchen knife. <laughs> okay. So we want to start like this. Put them down. We're rolling it out into a tube. Okay. Two hands. Got it? Okay. You want to get it to be kind of like a snake. You're pulling a little bit towards the edges. A little flour on your hands, not so much on your board. The, the dough's a little tacky, it sticks a little bit, so just use flour as you need it. So I've got mine kind of rolled out here into a decent looking log, and then I'm gonna take them and cut little dumplings off. And I'm gonna put them onto a dusted plate so they're ready to go into the water when we boil them. And we'll show you how we make a sauce. How are yours going? You're a little fat there, you gotta roll those out a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> we, need to, we need them to have some consistency. I don't expect restaurant quality. Are they rolling? Or are you just pinching? No, it's sticking because you oh. wouldn't let me put enough flour on you. <laughs> so then we'll come in and we'll scrape it. Just put a little flour on your hands. Roll it. You're very close. Roll it there. And now 
So you yeah. square up the end there. Uh -huh. Now start cutting a few off. Okay. About. Yep, perfect. Cut. These look great. So we'll finish rolling these out and then we'll show you how we boil them and put them together with a sauce. <laughs> so we're going to put together a sauce for our gnocchi. They only take it just a minute to boil, so we're going to start the sauce first. What we start with is some extra virgin olive oil and two cloves of minced garlic. I want to put those in the pan. Just get a little sizzle on them and then they're pretty much done. I don't want garlic to burn. That's the number one rule in my restaurant. Then off the heat, I'm going to add a little bit of white wine. In this case, I'm just using some dry vermouth. That's all we have in the house. And we're going to add some tomato passata. Passata means past. So this is a puree of tomatoes from Italy. Our passata is in the pan with our garlic and our olive oil. We're going to bring that up to a simmer. And then I want to spice this dish up a little bit. Uh, you could use some bread chili flakes, but I have this great sambal chili paste, so a little cross-cultural spice goes in there. We'll stir those chilies in. And in the back here, I have a pot of water at a rolling boil. I'm going to generously salt that. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to go around and salt my tomato sauce. Add a little black pepper. And what we've got here essentially is a, a spicy marinara sauce. I'm gonna turn down the heat and just let that simmer. Now we're gonna boil off our gnocchi. They've been sitting on a dusted plate, dusted with a little bit of flour. I'm gonna gently coax them into the water. Just a little bit of help. Now the gnocchi are in their bath of hot water. I'm gonna actually add a few more for the amount of sauce we have. Gently pushed in. Push them off the plank there. And the gnocchi will cook for a minute or two. You'll know they're done when they start to rise to the top. And then we're gonna skim them off with this little skimmer. We uh, have large ones at the restaurant, they're called a spider. So the gnocchi are resting in there. As soon as they all start to float, we'll transfer them right into our sauce. Then I'll show you how we finish our marinara sauce. So this sauce, I raise the heat up a little bit. We want that simple flavor of garlic and chili to come through. And the way we finish it is with a little butter to add some richness. And traditionally, I would throw some fresh basil into there. But because we're on the COVID lockdown, we don't have basil, we have some fresh mint in our house. Mint in the same family, along with the chili and the tomato, is a really nice flavor. Oh, my gnocchi are just starting to rise to the top. You can see them. They're really delicate. I'm gonna let them rise to the top. Maybe that water will just return to a gentle boil. And then we'll add them to our tomato sauce. This tomato passata that I bought is, uh, again, past the wrist sieve. Really good San Marzano tomatoes from Italy. I picked that up at a local store called Alimentari. It's right behind the Pig in a Fur Coat off of Williamson Street here in Madison. And uh, it's owned by Pig in a Fur Coat. So my gnocchi are just starting to return to a boil. They're gonna finish in my sauce. I'm just gonna slide them right in. sauce down just a little bit. This is a very, very decadent little dumpling with a hearty, spicy tomato sauce. But to alleviate some of the heaviness of that, we're going to bring some brightness with our fresh mint as we finish the dish. Kind of a Sicilian style sauce to add the mint into the spicy tomatoes. So now we see our gnocchi swimming in this sauce, just wonderful. 
I'm gonna finish it with a couple of nubs of Wisconsin butter. And then I'm gonna stir in these leaves of fresh mint. And then we're gonna serve this with some Parmigiano Reggiano grated right over the top. Ladling up my gnocchi, a little spicy marinara sauce. We're gonna add a few leaves of that fresh torn mint just to give it a pop. And some freshly grated Parmigiano Reggiano over the top. Well, thanks for joining us at Cooking at Home at the Real Lombardinos. Now give this a try, Michelle. Is this what I get paid? <laughs> yeah, this is your payment <laughs> right here. <laughs> what do you think? It's really delicious. I love the mint in it. I've never think to put mint in it. Yeah, it's really, really refreshing. Good. And those gnocchi just kind of melt in your mouth. So, so nice to find the heavy. I never cook at home. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Good night. Thank you.